Well, this is a different view than what y'all normally get. Now, we were inside the 853. I'm running it today. We're doing some tests to uh, see what we can do to increase our productivity. Anybody want some lunch? I got some pizza. Anyway. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm uh I've been running the 853 all morning. I'm gonna run it all day. I'm probably gonna run it again tomorrow. Tomorrow's day before Thanksgiving. Uh you can't really see right now, but the the wood pile is just blew through the roof today with me getting on the cutter. Uh, I cut a little bit. It's not that we ain't been getting the wood cut, it's that the wood is so eat up with bushes it is it's killing the load or something. I can, if I can cut 10 loads a day by myself and move Matt back to the loader or skidder or wherever we need to help at, uh, that's what we're going to end up having to do because you know we've only been doing eight loads a day, and we can't do eight loads a day. You know we can do, we can eat a week or so of that, but. We've been here a month now, eating eight loads a day, ten loads a day on some, with six days worth of labor. Anybody that has a logging job, it's 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 killing it's killing us. So we're uh, I should be done. Y'all can see on Timber Navy up here. Uh, all I have left is you know this area that's inside the red dotted line. That, that's not got any lines drawn across it. The triangles there are the bunches that you can see. Did I say Timber Navy? I say Timber Navy so much. It's Timber Matic. I'm sorry. Timber Matic. Uh, anyway, you can... The little triangles are the bunches of where the wood is on the ground. Hey. Are you, can you hear me? But anyway, so yeah. Yeah. Got your number so I can finish this page. Figure we can get y'all kind of caught up. They fixing to give out some load numbers, and we'll be back in a minute. Y'all hang tight. Bye. So I'll let y'all ride with me for a minute. Probably all that's gonna be in this particular video is what y'all just seen and riding here. I'll kind of talk to y'all and explain what we got going on and everything else. So, I got off the track cutter today trying to see if we can help boost production. And so far it's worked. We're going to be done at our, we're going to be trucked eight. We're actually going to be gained a couple in the pile. That's what I was looking for. And if I keep gaining in my pile, I can get my third truck back. But outside of that, what we got going on here, we all are watching anyway, is I am cutting the last little pocket of this crap on this side of the road. There's like 1.3 acres on the other side of the road. But it's done rained enough and I don't think I'm going to fool with it. Because I'm going to have to skid it across the road and the ditches are wet. It's just it's going to make a, a hellacious mess for maybe half a load of wood. It's just not worth it. We're, we're just probably going to leave it. What I'm doing, y'all can see how thick the bushes and everything are. I am cutting alongside this SMZ. Y'all can see on Timber Matic. See right here the, the discoloration. I'm not sure how clear it's going to show up. I I know y'all can see it, but I don't know how well you're going to be able to actually see it. See it. But all I have left this is this little old nook right here. This discoloration on the screen. That's uh, my SMZ. be labeled as a perennial SMZ because it flows water year round. The other SMZs that we've been 
cutting up to are called in, uh, not in Fairmont, intermittent, meaning they flow water in, 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 intermittently. Yeah, there y'all go. The ones we've been cutting up to are intermediates. SMZs and they flow water, you know, throughout the year. They don't flow water 24-7 like this one does to our right. This one to my right is a pretty big channel. Get loaded. 
they go as far as they can go. Which this round, I imagine we're just gonna set them, set a skitter right behind the truck, and start pushing right from the loader. Push them out across the culvert through the bad stuff, and then they'll go on the rest of their way.
cut along the side of the SMZ like this because when you cut alongside of it, you never get out of the bushes. The bushes and the, the hardwoods are always worse right beside an SMZ.
something and swinging in circles. Smoky trees down. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I appreciate everybody for coming and watching. Hanging out and riding with me. Yeah.